this video, I'm going to talk about the infinite case. So the sum of an infinite geometric series. Sum of an infinite geometric series. So um, let me look at this series here. And it looks like to get from one term to the next, um, what I'm doing is multiplying each term by negative one half. That's what it looks like. Multiplying by negative one half, multiplying by negative one half, blah. So my common ratio is negative one half. Now I said, now you're looking for the sum, right? And this is dot, dot, dot. So this is the sum of an infinite, I'm sorry, yeah, infinite geometric, infinite geometric series. The sum of an infinite geometric series. And I can do this sum because the absolute value of the common ratio is less than one, right? One half is less than one. It's satisfied. So the sum of this series is a1, the first term, over 1 minus r. a1 over 1 minus r. Let me see if I can find that, right? a1 over 1 minus r. So the sum of this is equal to 1 over 1 plus um, 1 plus 1 half. I'll show you all my work for this. So I have a bit of, you know, <laughs> fractions. 1 over 3 halves which is equal to, if I have 1 over, I'm going to show my work, but if I have, uh, this is a complex fraction, this divided by this, 1 divided by 3 halves, keep the first, flip the second, change to multiplication, this is 2 thirds. I mean, 1 divided by a fraction is always the reciprocal of that fraction. So the sum of this infinite geometric series is equal to 2 thirds. I mean, why does that happen? Why can I take the sum of an infinite series? You know, if you look at... Um, Something like this. So 0 0.03. So 0 0.3 plus 0 0.03 plus 0 0.003 plus. If I continue to add this, I want you to look at one third, this fraction. If you plug it into your calculator, what do you get? You get 0 0.3 repeated, right? So if I say 0.3 plus, 0 0.03 plus, point, this is going to turn into, you know, 3 repeated, isn't it? So therefore, you know, there is a sum of this infinite case because if this 3 keeps repeating, then it is equal to 1 third. So this, this is a situation where I have an infinite case and there is a sum. That's why, you know, these situations work with infinite cases with geometric because they, you know, combine into a fraction. So looking at this, let me show you using my, you know, geometric pattern and such. Let's say I want to find this sum. I don't know it's geometric, but let's go ahead and say, all right, it, you know, let's see if it's geometric. How do I get from this to this? Well, I told you that you could take the second term and divide it by the first term. I got 0.1 or, you know, multiply by 1 tenth. Is it consistent? Same thing as multiplying by 0.1, okay? Is it consistent? Does that keep going? Multiply by 1 tenth. Yes, it keeps going. So this is geometric, and the common ratio is 0.1 or 1 tenth. So if you recall, it satisfies that, um, that requirement such that the absolute value of the common ratio is less than 1, which means that I could find the sum of this infinite geometric series. So let's find that sum. Well, what is A1? A1 is the first term, so 0 0.3 divided by 1 minus 0 0.1. Let's see what I get. Plug it all in my calculator. 0 0.3 divided by 1 minus 0 0.1. Change it to a, um, oops, sorry, 0 0.3 divided by 1 minus 0 0.1. Change it to, you know, to a, 0.3 divided by 1 minus 0 0.1. There. I got 0 0.3333 3, 3, 3, 3, or 1 third. So if I continue this pattern forever, it's going to um, converge, combine into a single value, in this case, one-third. Therefore, the sum of this infinite series does exist. 